Anika. My speech is about helping those who really need it. All of us have seen the news. We know what's happening in countries like Afghanistan and Syria. People have to leave their homes, their village, their house, their belongings, friends and family, everything. They leave their life or they stay and die. Some say there's nothing we can do about it. I say we can't. This is my friend, Jawid. He has helped me as an interpreter um, <coughs> so that my children and I have been able to become friends with the family. They are Afghanistan refugees, a minority called Hazara. The Afghanistan government refuses to acknowledge them. The Taliban hunts them down and kills them. Together with my children, we spend time with this family. We talk for hours, eat, and my children play with their very sweet daughter. I have to check my notes. <laughs> yes, I answer all their questions about Luxembourg. We bring them clothes, winter jackets, and toys. We have organized together so that the family, the men in the family will come to my garden and work and make feel that they are useful for a day. This family of three generations mm -hmm. escaped. I asked the mother if she would like to go back to her country, and she said she will never go back. <laughs> two months before they could all escape, the Taliban beheaded two of her sons and threw their bodies in the village. shared her story about how they escaped by giving all their money to corrupt smugglers, risking their lives every day, being shot at. I promised myself I will never look away and pretend this is not happening. I looked her into the eye and I listened. For humanity, someone knows her story. Tonight, I beg of you, to help me help them. I give them all I can from my home, and apart from the friendship, there are still a few things they need. So if you feel like you can help, I invite you to please come and see me. Thank you. Yeah, cool.